guys, right, back on the girder forks for Dan. So far, I have sorted out the top part with the bearings and I've made a little collar because obviously we've got size differences like I explained in the last video. So let me get a bit closer. So yeah, we've done the bearing so it fits into there. Then we've got this collar that you have to get it dead square so you don't want to go in. That goes into there. Then we've got that which will go into there obviously on the uh, spindle when we get that sorted. And then the top nut will go on to there. So that's what we've done so far. Let's take all that back out a minute. So what uh, I'm going to do today, I'll leave that in, don't want to come out. Let's try again here. Come on, get out. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, that's that top bit sorted. So what I'm gonna attempt today is get this out of here. So we're gonna sacrifice this. Get that one out of there. That's the bit uh, that we've gotta be careful with. I think it's actually, I don't know if you can see that, I think it's actually got a little pin in there. But uh, I'll clean that up a bit better and see if it is a pin or just uh, a bit of casting, bit in the casting, we'll see. So we'll get that out of there. Then we'll do what's got to be done to make it fit. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping we might get this so it fits the front part of the frame today. Touch wood, fingers crossed, it's all going to go well. I'm waiting for a couple of bits for the Triumph, which, uh, so we may see a bit more of that this week, but obviously I'm leaving that for the evenings. But uh, we'll see what comes for it, and then you'll see other bits that I'm going to change sort of for now, like I said, explained in that video before I decide what I'm really going to do with it. But anyway, in the meantime, let's get on with this. So I think to start with, I'm going to get this out of there because by the look of it, that's just got a weld around the bottom. I think if we grind that off, we'll be able to sort of give that a little tap and it'll come out. Maybe a bit more than a little tap. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's get the damn thing out. Obviously, we're not using that no more. But I think what I'll do, I'll build it up. That was that one I modified for the top is a brand new part. But what I'll do, I'll just build it up on the old parts for now. Then we'll replace them all on the final build of the bike. I'm grinding and I haven't even checked the time. <laughs> I have no clue at the time. Normally I've got a rule where I don't do any noisy stuff till nine o'clock after and afterwards. Hold on. <laughs> We're good, it's 9.30. oil bubbling out of there so we're just starting to see the join there so I think a bit of persuading maybe a bit of heat 
we should get that to drop out of there. That won't do it. Forget the damage I've caused by eating it. Don't worry about that because obviously this has got to be shortened. But you can just see where it's starting to break. So I reckon a little bit of heat is going to help that. Is blue. Come here, blue. No one's seen you for a while. <laughs> it's a bit cooler today, so blue's out and about, isn't you, mate? Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello, mate. What are you after? I don't think we've got no treats up here. They're all down the house. They're all down the house, pal. Oh, where was I? Losing all the heat I've just put into it, that's where I was. Oh, I'll try that again. If it doesn't want to go that way, it may be tapered and it needs to come this way. Go for a bit more heat. Right, <clears throat> we'll go direct with the hammer now. I'm not holding that short drift there. What is holding that boy in? Yeah, we can't go too mad hitting it because what it'll start to do, it'll start acting like a rivet and actually swelling up even more. So you end up sort of fighting against yourself. So I think I may have to split it and scrap the bottom yoke. It's a small sacrifice to get that out, I guess. Trying to move. Yeah, I'm gonna split it. I wonder if it is tapered that way. Very slightly. I want that spindle, give it to me. <laughs> so 
So at this point, it doesn't matter if I put a nick in this because this is going to be quite a bit shorter. So the bit I'm messing about with down here is going to be off and in the bin anyway. But I want to get it out. I could just cut it off, I know, but I want, I want to get it out. I want to see what it's like. So if I do any of these in the future that I do need that full length, at least I know what I'm up against. Hey, there she goes. That made it easier. Ah, wow, it's on a spline as well. Wow, calm down, Enfield. It's interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that for a minute. <laughs> right, while all that's cooling on the cold floor down there, we'll have a go at this. So this one, obviously we can't be cutting this and splitting it. This has got to come out and hopefully will cause no damage or well, we can't basically it doesn't matter so much with uh, the, the stem but obviously we can't damage the bottom part at all so this one has actually got a little pin once you can see that wherever you are so what i'm going to do first we're going to start off gentle and we'll gradually work up into getting very angry with it. <laughs> and it'll come out. So I'm going to grind that pin flush first and see if we can get it on the move without any heat. I'll say we'll, we'll, we'll start with basics and work up. Again, I have no idea if that pin's got a taper or anything, or it's just sort of pained over at the end there. I think, I've tried to clean up in here. I think I can see it. It's very difficult to see. But uh, anyway, let's just get a smack and see what happens. Of course it's going to be difficult, it's me. Back in the blacksmithing days we used to get all them jobs where people threw the towel in and give up and brought it to us. Can you get this off? Can you fix this? Can you pull that off there? <laughs> yeah, we used to get all them interesting jobs. Oops. They fell off there. I'm sure they survived. I think that's moving. Or I'm just putting dents in it with this punch. I think we're going to drill it. I'll end up messing about with that one for half the day else. Oh, I think that's got it. 
right, now the tricky bit. I think what I might do here, if the jaws of the vice don't open that far, I might cut this down because, yeah, we're definitely not using that to that there. I think I'm going to cut that down and see if we can press it out with the vice. So I ain't sure if that's brazed in in some way or it is just pressed in. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it's not brazed in because that's just going to be a nightmare. Right, skipping forward a day. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I had a couple of visitors yesterday, so I didn't sort of continue with this all through the day but I did carry on with it a little bit and uh, I got so involved in doing what I was doing I didn't uh, sort of film because it was uh, it was turning out to be a bit not hard but uh, time consuming on just one silly bit so anyway I got that stem out of here and it was a pain. It really was. Uh, I cut it off like I said I was going to do and tried pressing it out with the vise by putting it in the vise and putting two things on the base to give it space to move. It weren't budging at all. I even drilled a bigger hole where that pin was to see if I hadn't caught that properly. Uh, anyway, it turns out it was brazed in and brazed in well, really well. Good old British engineering, eh? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just sort of buried myself into getting it out and it took a long long time so basically i cut it down then i ended it ended up cutting it all the way down and basically just breaking it out bit by bit by bit by bit till it was all clear so i got there in the end though yes i know i probably could have took it somewhere and they could have clamped it all up in a machine and bored it out or whatever but you know that's probably more time consuming and it would have cost money as well i would have had to got on the phone or the internet found someone local who'd done it then took it to them left it with them probably told it was going to be two weeks then have to go out and pick it back up again you know what i mean so i persevered and got it out <laughs> If anybody wants me to do Gerda Forts, BSA Gerda Forts, and fit them to an Enfield, it's going to be four million pounds and a Mars bar. Yeah, it was a nuisance. <laughs> so that's the price. It might put you off a little bit from asking. <laughs> anyway. So we got the uh, the Enfield stem in. I haven't welded it up yet because I want to build it all up into the frame to make sure it all goes well. So that will be trimmed down a little bit and then I'll, I'll do a, a weld all the way around there. I have put a grub screw in where the pin was not that it's needed because what I've done with this is heated it up and all this is squished back in. It is absolutely solid. I turn this ring down here. Again, that's heated up and, and put down the shaft and it's shrunk on there. That is on there solid. That's where the bearing sits. So it's gone pretty well. Now we've got to see if it's all going to go together. Hopefully it will, because I don't want to go all through that again. <laughs> Not anytime soon. 
But it's done. And Dan gets his end fill with his girder forks in. So let's, well, I'll say that. I haven't put it together yet. <laughs> Touch wood, it's going to be all right. Let's put this on first. I'll give that a tap on actually. That just drifts on. Give me a minute. There we go. A little bit of grease. What I'll do, I'll put. Ooh. I'll just put a couple of well, half a dozen bearings in just so it sits how it's going to sit. Obviously, we're only just trying it out. So it's all going to have to come apart again to, to build the frame. So I'm just putting a bit of grease in there so it just holds the bearings there while I squeeze it together. So I'll put this in first onto the frame. Oh, I'll do it. Put that onto the frame first, and then we'll put the forks onto that. Right. Let me make sure I'm going to get everything right. So I've got that. Where's ah oh, and that? That's it. Ooh. bearings in that one like I say I know I probably could have took it to a machine shop who's got the tool in to have done it all but I kind of, you know, one I, I like to do as much as I can myself on these builds. And what's quicker, persevering, doing it in here, or having to go traveling around, like I say, trying to find someone to do it with machines. But we got there, that's the main thing. And I don't want to do another one anytime soon. It took me that long and I was <laughs> cussing a little bit. I'm having second thoughts about putting that BSA front end in my Enfield. I don't know yet. I don't know. I might do, I might not. It, uh, it took a while. This is where you need to be an octopus. I've got that the white right. ray. Yeah, we have. Have I? Yes. Yeah, it's took me just for to sort all this out and obviously turning the, the, the stem down and everything like that because that was careful. So if I took too much off, it would have been done. I would have had to find another stem. So I was doing it bit by bit, keep trying the base on it, the bottom yoke and doing a bit, trying a bit because I needed it so it pressed on. It's it's literally took me two days sorting this bit out. But hey -o, it's done now. I haven't got a socket big enough to fit this, believe it or not. I think I really need to get some. OK, 
Okay, right. So I'm thinking to make sure I get it right. <laughs> okay, let's put that out of the way and that out of the way. Uh, then that uh, one side is threaded on one side, isn't it? Let's have the plain side. time So far, so good. Ooh. I've got to get uh, a bit of bar. It, this, these forks didn't have the, the bolt in that one. So I'll probably get a bit of stainless and just thread it, just thread the one end. And it didn't have no washers if someone's going, they should have washers on. So I'm just building it with what it came with. Obviously we'll sort all the details out when we're building it for the final time. Oh, uh, also, I have found a spring, and I'm hoping to get that this week. Hopefully, I believe it's the correct one. So we'll be able to try these out properly. We know the front wheel fix, it just needs a little bit of dressing here and there and the, the block that stops the brake plate from spinning. Oh, I didn't put the, uh, the bearing thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, that's not gonna be an issue just to try it out. We'll put that safe. I'll put the little bearing cover for the top one. Urgh. Never mind. It's been a long few days. Let me off. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so if anyone's uh, planning to put girders on their Enfield, try and find some for an Enfield. It will make life a lot easier for you. And I thought of all sorts of different scenarios to try and do this. Different bearings and all that. But it just was not going to work with the size of the stem that was on them originally. Right. Let's see if that fits in. It should do. Yes. <sighs> 
your forks fit, Dan. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's done. So yeah, the spring, I'm hoping, still a bit tight. I'm hoping we'll be here this week. Oh, it's them. That's it. There we go. It's all doing what it should, up and down, side, side to side. Job done. <sighs> so, wait for the spring and I'll try it all with that. Let's put this to the side of me. And then we've got to see how we're going to finish these forks. It's obviously, there's a fair bit of pitting on them, but uh, we'll see. He'll probably let me know in a message and see if Dan wants a, a bit of patina or age on the bike as a finish. We will we'll see. Or it's a few hours of, well, a few hours, a day or two dressing all these up. We'll, we'll see, we'll see what's got to be done. So that's it, uh, yeah. We know the front wheel fits, although one of these has got to be dressed up a tiny bit. So I've got to get a uh, proper spindle for the front wheel that's threaded on the ends. And then some shouldered bolts so they don't, the wheels can't drop out. So you don't want that. Not that you're ever going to be pulling wheelers on this thing. <laughs> you more chance winning the lottery. And the headlight brackets, I'm going to do a bit of research on them and see if I can make some, if I can get some clear pictures, more or less the same as what the headlight brackets would have been, which I do believe is off these lugs here. Uh, Dan's headlight is here, what he's using, which is like a Lucas copy with a frosted glass, a big eight inch. I guess we'll mount that quite high like they were on the old bikes. I think it's going to look quite smart. And whatever handlebars he chooses to use, I would say a nice old fashioned shape with a bit of quite wide with a bit of pull back on them would look good sitting with that headlight and just a nice simple single speedo in the middle so there we go it's another step closer isn't it i am glad that job's out of the way because that's been not playing on my mind i've been thinking about it a lot obviously i wanted it to work i want it to be safe and it needs to be a good job so it lasts simple as that so I suppose spending two days on uh, <laughs> fitting it is it's one of them at least we know it's right and safe which is top of the list so there we go I think that'll do me for today I say I'm glad it's done I'm happy with it I really am happy with it it's, it's certainly going to look good. And I think Dan's uh, sent or sending me the tank that he's found, which is the earlier tank, which went on the rigid Enfield, the wartime one. So we've got to change all the mounting points on this frame to take that tank. I think the next job on this, I may start cleaning this front part of the frame up first, ready or I may just tuck straight into the rigid end of the frame and get it all as one. We'll see, we'll see. Whatever happens in the next video for it, I'll say, I'm just continuing with it now. But uh, time's knocking on a bit, so, and I've had some little bits turn up for the Triumph, so it's evening time, so I'm gonna go and mess about with my own little project. Anyway, I'll say, Another step closer. That'll do. 
take care everybody thanks for watching